Hi there. So this is the review, predominantly, for these Crown of Mara promos. I've now played them a couple of times. Uh, one time I played them on the top of each deck. I'll be doing another solo playthrough with uh, these in play. And I deliberately had the top of the deck, of course, because it was in a two-player game, so I wasn't guaranteed to get either of them. I didn't overly work towards getting them, but if I happen to get them, then see how well they worked out. And I also put this um, initially at the top, and then I realised no one would have done this at the start of the round. So in terms of these promos, and this one's called Promo 1, I did find that I had to shuffle it down and put it, it turned out to be, I think, the, the fourth round, which in the first game did nothing. In the second time round, it did actually make things uh, back to two in terms of the uh, the donations and the contributions. But in a two-player game, this doesn't add too much to it at all. Um, it's a card that maybe stops other things from happening, which are generally good things. So um, makes it more of a tighter game. So that's promo card one. The Diplomats promo card two is card A. And uh, I did happen to get it maybe in one game. So you get four points uh, for your citizen, which isn't too bad at all. And I've never realized actually that is a citizen with a hat thing as well. Uh, the ring I did use and it was effective. Um, this is an interesting way to obviously um, trigger an extra benefit. So in this instance, I think I actually moved my, my town board around. So that was very good and it, uh, I'll tell you about my score when I happen to play in that first game in a moment. And the working animal, I happen to get spending my bread before I actually use the mill. By doing it that way, it meant that I was less effective on that mill. I only got three citizen points. But this, of course, adds eight to your score, which is phenomenal. And that's why I think uh, it's really good. The fact is literally clutching this banner. Uh, so in terms of that, in terms of all three, I mean... You're getting to use everything again. You're getting to now use a different benefits for the, the bread. You're getting like a guaranteed increase in score. This potentially could offset using the mill. But when I did use the mill, I did manage to get three more bread. So I managed to use both fine in a two player game. And also get an extra use of the coin. So it takes a while maybe to go for the coin. I wasn't as good obviously on the nobility track. And there's another use for the cloth. And there's another use for the ring and an additional use because of it for the movement so it plays into more options and uh, of course this is very good this can be even stronger depending on the situation so i highly recommend this if you can get it potentially because of the coin you don't get the nobility depending where you're at you're not getting too much there but again you're getting lots of points here so it depends what you're going to get from those points and it has to really be um, housing points to offset that so I still rank this as the best, then that one, and then the renovation of the castle. The second time I played it, <clears throat> well, let me tell you about the score on the first one. It was the lowest of the two scores. I had 76, uh, Julia had 75, so there's one point in it. So it's extremely close. And it goes to show that even with these cards, it's it's not OP, it's not overpowered. You, I, like I said, managed to have both, and there's only a point in it. Um, so maybe the cost of these things, they've been very well balanced. There are some things which say the cost is one cheaper. I think I managed to get in the second game this for one bread. It doesn't specifically state uh, a certain type of resource, which is a resource. So that was really good. So even better. And I think my score was better, but not by as much. Oh, maybe by slightly more, obviously, but it uh, wasn't hugely significant. And I don't know if I managed to use this one. Ah, this time round, I shoveled it completely into the deck and it didn't come out. So you're guaranteed to get this. So there are six B cards. We made this into the seventh. And in a two player game, we still managed to go through uh, all the B cards. In a solo game, that might not come up as much. So it adds a bit more uh, chance or uh, interesting factor. So, oh, am I going to get it? Or do you want to work through to get it? And again, three to four player, more likely to come up. And this is a game whereby it scales well, as you know. Um, in terms of Diplomats, uh, like I said, it didn't come up the second time. So it adds a bit of fun and interest as to whether or not that's going to kick in. And Renovation of the Castle, obviously, will only come up if it's one of those starting cards. I think that still could come up in a solo game. So we're interesting to see if that happens. Um, and I've yet to decide if I'm going to deliberately shuffle these in because this one's, this one's guaranteed to be in it. So it adds a bit more variety if it's not there. But I think for fun, it would be interesting if it is in there. Um, I'll shuffle up initially and find out and then maybe swap out the very last card and make sure it's this one. 
because it's very interesting to see different opinions as to the way it will be working. So this is uh, the Crown of Mara promos. These are the three cards that you can get. And um, yeah, interesting to obviously see what becomes of them. There's something else I like about this bag. I can literally get all of the cards, which are all of the other um, starting cards, all of the A's and the B cards in this little pouch. So that's really good. Additionally, um, I couldn't get the nobility cards in there, but because you're always playing at least one player, I leave the nobility cards now in with my set of colors. And I play blue normally in a game which has got some of the primary colors, lavender with my name being Simon Lavender, obviously, or purple. And finally, um, in this game though, I play red because Noel Edmonds is who the person looks like, if you know who that person is. So here are the promos. Thanks very much. And I think I've done a weighing before. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do that as well. And if you have any questions, put them in the YouTube comments box as well. I get great notifications if you stick them that place. And also check the description in case I've missed anything off. Thanks very much and speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.